My name is Quincy Malloy. I'm one of the co-founders and the lead product engineer at Smart Egg. Um, we're out here at Farm Progress Show uh, showing off our autonomous tractor. Uh, what we make is a kit that goes on current model John Deere 8Rs um, wheeled tractors and makes them autonomous. Our first application with that is the grain cart. So what you're seeing behind me is uh, basically we sync up with the combine. We can do unload on the go. It's all autonomous and uh, it's all controlled by the combine operator in on an iPad in the cab. Uh, the progress over the last year has been immense. We've almost completely redone our hardware to make it more reliable um, and make sure that we're, we're delivering quality to our customers. That's one of our, our top goals is to deliver that quality. We don't want to have downtime, have guys that are stuck out in the field with an autonomous tractor that's just sitting still. So uh, we really upped our hardware standards and we primarily haven't really even had to touch the software. It's been working really well. It's just all revamping hardware, making sure that it's good to go and it's going to last. So there are a lot of challenges when it comes to autonomy. Uh, one of them is uh, how do you create a safety system that can understand its environment and perceive what's around it? Uh, you know, that's a very technically complex thing to tackle um, and it's taken a lot of work and, and effort in order to, to implement that. Some of the other things that we really struggle with, which are pretty, uh, pretty prevalent throughout ag, is how do you do in-field communication? How do you communicate between machines effectively and guarantee uptime um, in environments that often don't have good cell service, have a lot of um, issues with just those more traditional forms of communication back and forth between machines. So we have multiple layers in our communications architecture that, uh, that really pulls all that together. So we communicate across multiple mediums in order to know what's going on in the field. And we can actually talk via any of those. And if one goes down and comes back up, the system doesn't even doesn't care um, because it has all this redundancy throughout those other mediums. Our, our dealer network really to us is part of our team. It's a really important part to our business and to getting this product out there to the customer. Um, they're crucial in that role. We have dealers with us here um, that are helping out in our booth. They really are that extension of our team and, and uh, they've been a crucial role in helping get, they've been involved from the start, including with these test systems that are going out in the fields. They're helping with those, helping with the installs. So uh, our dealers are a crucial part of our business and will continue to be in. And that dealer network's been expanding. Uh, I think our last count, we're uh, by the end of the year, hoping to have up to 25. We're almost to that mark. Um, so we've, we've really been pushing on that and expanding nationwide. We're trying to make the learning curve as painless as possible. Um, obviously with autonomy, there's a lot of technology that goes into it. It's not, it's not a simple technology. So um, what we're trying to do is uh, we have a wonderful product support team that's out working with the dealers to, to help them understand the system, understand how it's working. And uh, we'll continue to offer dealer training events and things like that to help push that knowledge out there. Um, but we're, we're really pushing to make sure that the, the dealers understand the technology, understand what they're getting, what they're installing, and what they're selling. Our, our biggest challenge has actually been trying to temper expectations um, because we are not in production yet. That will be next spring. And so we have a lot of people wanting the system now. And um, we don't want to give them a system that um, is incomplete and not verified. You know, right now we're in our verification testing. That's what this fall is for, to verify that we feel good about this system going to production. We finally are at that point where we do feel good about it. Um, so we're, we're ready to open, the, uh, open up the taps. We're just, we got to finish our verification testing. And, and yeah, I mean, uh, that's been the biggest thing for us. We get a lot, of, a lot of demands and requests saying, hey, I want to buy these. We've had multiple people in our booths saying uh, they're, they're ready to pull the trigger. And, uh, and we'll be really excited when we're at the point where we can just say, okay, let's do it. Um, but yeah, we're trying to manage that's been, been uh, difficult at times.